Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here to do the readings for the Earth signs and this one's going to be for the lovely sign of Virgo. Virgo, firstly, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you on board. Um, please press, press the subscribe button underneath and also press the bell so you get reminders. Um, I do do lives on Wednesday today. So it would normally go, I'd go to air around about 12 or midday in Australia, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, and you can join me there. I do do some readings for a small donation. Um, so you can catch me on YouTube. Um, please remember though that this reading may not resonate with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, as I always say, go, go and check out your natal chart. All you have to do is go to Google and put in the details of your birth um, and then you will find what planets were in your chart when you were born. So if you identify, for example, as a Virgo sun, you may also have um, a Capricorn moon or a Taurus rising that you could have a look at too. So sometimes we can inadvertently watch readings and think, wow, this sounds like my reading and it won't be for the star sign we recognize ourselves at. So you can't discount that. Um, very often you have very every planet in your chart. So don't be too narrow-minded with it. Seek a little adventure. Go and get yourself a report. Learn a little bit about yourself. All right, if the reading does resonate with you, I ask you to smash it with a thumbs up and help me to grow the channel. And I want to say thank you to you in advance for that. All right. Oh, beautiful. So you have the sun coming straight out of the gate. This is the card of Leo. The Sun card talks about joy and happiness, great joy and happiness. Um, it can talk about like going back to the beginning, doing things again, feeling childlike, being able to throw caution to the wind and have fun with something. Um, but the Sun card is a card that does not lose its power, even in the reverse, even in a, 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 a difficult reading. It always tells you that at some stage or another, something will be illuminated for you which will make you understand how beautiful life is. Very nice energy. And it's sitting right on top of the hermit. You are seeking illumination here. You are seeking, because I see the star in that in that uh, lantern. And the hermit does that. The, the hermit talks about going inside to find your inner light, to find what really makes you tick. Um, but I feel like you're seeking illumination here. It's like you're looking for answers with something. Perhaps something's happened here that you're trying to understand something, but you're definitely seeking some sort of information here. Maybe in regard to a relationship here, because we have the Two of Cups. So you may be dealing with a soulmate. Um, you may be dealing with someone here that you have questions about. Maybe you're wanting to know more. It could be that you're about to embark in a new situation or in a new situation and you want to know more about the person that you are, you know, looking at as a potential mate. Sometimes too, we can get very much in this energy when we get into a new relationship where we are looking at the things that we're doing, being or seeing that may not fit with our ideas of what of going on. So we can get a little bit in that energy when we first meet someone that we want to know everything about what they're doing and their genuineness and where they're coming from. But you definitely are seeking something here and it's got something to do with love. Right, so we have the Knight of Swords here and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like, again, that you're either going into a very new situation or you are moving a situation to the next level. And I feel like somehow or another, you're trying to find something out about this person. You may be asking them questions there with that Knight of Swords. You may be trying to somehow understand this situation. Maybe it's moving too quickly and you want to slow it down, but you're definitely... You're definitely sort of sorting through some energies here, trying to find answers for what perhaps you're wanting to do, move forward on, move into. Definitely. All right, let's see where we're going. Okay, so the Empress is here. So you may feel like you've met the one. 
You may feel very, very strongly that you have met the person that you want to spend your life with. I also feel for some of you, you may have met someone that you've wanted to spend your life with, but there may be something coming to light or things that are happening that are not explainable. Um, I do feel that you saw perhaps this person as being, you know, very sort of paramount in your life, but there's a questioning going on here. So I'm feeling here something isn't quite feeling right. Something isn't quite feeling like as it should be. So let's find out why. All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles coming through with the Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups. Oh. There is either a worry here that your person has received another offer or a worry that this person may take another offer. Maybe you don't feel that the offer you're making here is going to be enough. Because I do have the Three of Cups coming through. And because I have two knights here, it makes me feel like you're the, not the only person vying for this person's attention. You obviously see this person as something incredibly special here. And I feel like maybe this is fairly new and maybe you want to ask this person to, you know, go steady or whatever to be with you for the long term. But I feel like there is somebody else vying for this person's attention. Now, you may already know this with the Three of Cups. But I feel like for some of you, you're so early in this relationship, you're not really sure whether this person's intentions are directed at you or whether they're maybe considering some other offer here. All right, let's have a look. Four of Swords. Yeah, you definitely are pondering this. No doubt about that. Ten of Wands and carrying it round. It's a burden for you. All right, we have the Lovers card. That is really nice here, Virgo. All right. I feel like your fears are unfounded. I feel like this fear that you have about this person is probably your own baggage sort of coming into play here. The Four of Swords tells me you need to take time out. I feel like you've had some sort of heartbreak, disappointment, betrayal in the past that is making you feel that this person may not be true to you. Now, I always say to people, if you have an idea that you feel somebody might possibly cheat on you or might betray you, then you can't go into a relationship with that baggage. Why not? Because if you feel it might happen, it's possible you could manifest that. So what you have to do is you have to get yourself in the mindset of you have no control over other people. If they choose to cheat on you or move in a different direction, you have no control over that. So don't try to control situations because you have fears. You have to let go of the control and just believe or understand, and I know a lot of the dating coaches talk about this too, understand that it's not about them cheating, it's about how you will handle it if a person did do that to you. But if you go in with this attitude that everybody's going to cheat or go into a relationship with an attitude that someone that might have better offers than you, then you are already setting yourself up for some sort of I don't want to say failure, but some sort of disappointment. I feel like this person here with the Empress and the Lover's card here is very devoted to you. I feel even if you're early in the relationship, this person is already feeling like you are their person too. This person feels like you've been brought together and it's fate and destiny. Um, but I feel like here with this Four of Swords, Ten of Wands, the energy of you carrying around that perhaps you don't feel good enough for this person or perhaps you feel that they don't see you as the best is not is unfounded here. Um, so even if somebody else has come in with an offer or there is someone else in the picture, now it's very, it's very sort of possible here that your person could already be in another relationship or a marriage. But what I want to say is their devotion to you is really obvious in this reading. This person sees you as their person. So whatever you, it is that you're up against, whatever other um, challenges are here, you need to trust this person that they can work through those with you. All right, so we have the death card, yeah, with the world card. There's a huge change coming in this situation, all right? 
I feel like here this person may be about to let you know how they really feel about you. They may be laying it all on the table here because there's a huge change in the energy of this situation. And what I mean by that, it's like you may be going very, very swiftly to two people who've sort of just started out in a relationship to a very committed um, maybe even a marriage here. So you need to know that this situation does have a beautiful journey and a really lovely ending. But you've got to ride the storm here. You can't you can't go into a situation with your baggage. Um, if you've tried to work on your baggage and you're not releasing that, you can't afford to be jealous and possessive just in case someone does the wrong thing. Because I don't see that here. I see it only as somebody's baggage interrupting. Now, please remember, Virgo, that sometimes these readings can be very reversed. So it's possible that I could be talking about your person. Um, if that's the case, they could be married, but worrying about you going off before they get to you. Whatever happens here, what I see is this relationship going through great transformation and ending up in a very happy situation here. Eight of Wands coming through. Your person's going to talk to you about this very shortly. It may not be a proposal, but it may be a talk about the future. All right, so I have great happiness coming through here. You're trying to shed light on some sort of situation about a relationship here. You need the truth to something. I feel like you have found someone you find really beautiful. I feel like this person means a lot to you. You see a future with them here. But somehow or another, you've got a fear here that perhaps things won't work out, perhaps they'll take another offer, you know, I may not be good enough, you know, I got my heart broken in the past, maybe I'm just going to get my heart broken again, just throw all that stuff out the window. You need to trust yourself here, not so much the other person, you need to trust yourself and at the end of the day, we can't control how other people see things or do things. You can't be possessive and jealous over someone just because they might cheat. It's not something you can do. Again, you just have to ask yourself, okay, if that ever happens, how would I handle it? And then you let it go. Because somehow or another here, this person is about to enlighten you on this. Look at this, the full card. They want to take a leap of faith with you. They do see you as their person. They do see you as somebody who's been guided towards them here. I see great changes coming through here the ending of a situation to move into a new phase and your person is about to talk to you about this. They could be talking to you about moving in together, what they see in their future. They could be saying to you, you know, I want to move away from my other relationship because I want to spend my life with you. But that conversation is coming. That sun tells me you're about to get some sort of information here that will bring things to light for you. All right, let's pull you an oracle card. Oh, no, I don't want three. Goodness gracious. There it is. Oh, I got the Pleiades card again. Radio. this is really interesting because the last two days I've been pulling all starseed cards. So I feel like a lot of starseeds are coming together in relationships here. And you've got this feeling, yeah, birthing a new age. There is definitely this feeling of coming together with someone because they feel like home to you. You feel very safe with this person, but for some unknown reason, your own ego insecurities are coming up for you. So Pleiades talks about coming home. It also talks about having a greater mission on earth. But this is the one I'm going to read, Birthing a New Age. I feel like you're coming together in a very sacred union here. And I feel like it's part of the greater plan.